So you gave the order to destroy my hometown. By now you will have been told that you are the third Denton prototype. That isn't quite true, or I wouldn't have been willing to destroy an entire city to kill you. This better be good. Unlike the first Dentons, who were straight clones of an ideal individual, you were, how do I put it, average. A feeble little mongrel who was made into a Denton. You're starting to hurt my feelings. JC and Paul Denton never escaped their original programming. They instead succeeded only in making copies of themselves. Without realizing it, they worked to build the precise society envisioned by the Illuminati and its defunct offshoot MJ-12, a population configured for transparency, integration, control. Follow me? Interesting theory. What is it you want from me? A sympathetic ear for now. Believe me, child of the city of destruction. The last days of humankind may be at hand. Help me when I call on you, and I will have no need to destroy more cities. Only one Apostle Corps facility remains, and I simply need the device J.C. Denton has assembled there. JC get there. JC Denton is already there, in a manner of speaking. He will be preparing the systems necessary for the great advance while we are in Cairo. Advance? JC does not use the word advance. This notion is present in my original programming, as constructed by Tracer Tong in the 2040s. What good are socio-political notions to a pilot drum? about the Templar defenses. They had deep roots in the local population and were able to call up a large number of paladins. In addition, they have deployed a military bot in the mosque and two in the arcology. What happened to the city's security forces? They were eliminated. SSC Chief Farrah Maxwell stormed the arcology with forces flown in from Germany, but they were surrounded and are now 
now pinned down somewhere inside the structure. So I'm on my own. I will wait here for now. After you find Paul, I will meet you in Flight Bay 23 at the top of the Arcology. Good luck. This is what the Illuminati wants you to do. Destroy Paul Denton and help return Biomod technology to international regulation. Please discuss the operation with the elite commando waiting for you in the street. Paul's frozen body is located in Flight Bay 24 on level 110 of the Arcology. knock around Europe for a while. You do know that the Medina could get overrun by Templars at any moment. Thought there might be some trade in refugees. You know, quick hops away from trouble. But there hasn't been enough action yet for people to start liking my rates. What about you? I can take care of myself, but I might have use for a pilot later. A long trip, one way to New York City. Guess that would pay better than these Medina scabs. I offer to save their lives and the best they can do is 12 credits. How about you make a reasonable offer and we get out of this hole? I'll get back to you. Both of us are targets here. We will work separately until the final phase of the operation. What do you expect me to do? You will infiltrate the new Cairo Arcology. I will do the same and join you prior to the assault. If anyone's a glaring target for Templar Paladins, it's a bio-modified commando like yourself. Then we agree to maintain the minimal threat profile until a crucial moment. What if I'd rather work alone? Our orders are to work together. We will destroy Paul Denton and return Biomod technology to international regulation. Tell Dumier he's gonna have to look for an assassin somewhere else. My orders encompass that contingency as well. You will regret <laughs> around. It seems that the Illuminati is making one last grab for power. You must revive Paul, Alex. The Apostle Corps needs a strong leader who can restore it to global prominence. The Illuminati only want to steal our research to increase their wealth and power.
stop. Looks like it's gone, whatever. I'm leaving. Come down, it's a beautiful day for a walk. You know I can't. No more excuses about your grandfather. The plague is gone, look at the sky. Don't be fooled by the wind. The dust always comes back. Not this time. They found a cure and reprogrammed the bots. Casey Denton has a hold on your imagination, perhaps. Talk to your friend Leo in front of the mosque. See how much he likes enforced modification. <laughs> Do you Our really witch. think Apostle Fixed. Core is any different than a sect of the Omar? <laughs> We offer only the finest technologies, and you will be able to get them at the discount because of your preferred customer status. What's available? Perhaps you want a black market biomod canister, which enables non piezo chem functionality. I'm also selling three gas grenades, which deliver a biotoxin irritant in gaseous form. I've also got an ammo clip, which provides universal ammunition for all weapons. As a preferred customer, you may purchase items at half market price. I want the ammo clip. The Amar appreciate good customers. <clears throat> Leo, is that you? The frog suit threw me for a second. Alex, familiar face. Just what I need. I guess I don't have to ask whether you're still working for the Omar. I've completed phase one of the Omar induction. He said I would have two months to decide whether to accept the cortical interface, which will make me a true Omar, but they are afraid the Templars will attack the Medina. They want me to undergo phase two immediately. Sounds like you're having second thoughts. There's no turning back after phase two. I'd be almost invincible with cyborg hardware plus the Tarsus biomods, but this stuff's not like a nanite infusion. I'm still sore from the transskeletal supports I already have. Just tell them you need time to think about it. They say I have chosen. They say they will find me when I'm asleep and complete the operation. Then I will think like an Omar. It will be too late for choices. Maybe you should leave town. No money. I'd have to go on foot. With thermal vision, they'd pick me out on the desert plain like a pilot beacon. Here's some money for a pilot. You sure? Go ahead, take it. I don't know what to say. Thanks, Alex. I'll pay you back. Double. If you want to pay me back, maybe you could find a pilot to take you to the Statue of Liberty in New York. What for? I think I'd find more work in Europe. There's something you don't know about the Tarsus experiments. Yeah? The experiments were started by J.C. Denton and his brother Paul. They wanted to develop a biomod architecture that they could distribute to everyone on the planet. Yeah, they'll probably make a bundle, too. So that's why they dropped out of sight? It's some sort of utopian vision they have, a society based on absolute equality. Meanwhile, everyone wants a piece of the technology, including the Order and WTO, which are both puppets of a contemporary incarnation of the Illuminati, believe it or not. And of course the Templars want to destroy it. A utopia of human-machine super-beings? Sounds familiar. Liberty Island is critical for J.C. Denton's plan. We'll find out more when we get there. Right. Like, I'm about to sign up with a guy who wants to mod people by force. If you ask me, I think you're dealing with crazies on all sides. Knights Templar? Do they really think they're knights or what? Illuminati? Who told you they were in the Illuminati? Well, show up in New York and maybe you can help me sort all of this out. <laughs> Cheer up, the plague is gone. Convergence is possible, my seekers. The chairman and I have hey. outlined a program to bring our systems into agreement. But Alex, you are right. Her holiness put my mind at ease. What an extraordinary development. Seekers standing beside Enclave chairman. I never thought I'd see it in my lifetime. What do Enclave dwellers think of all this? Most are skeptics, to be sure, but with official sanction we can finally start to make some progress. 
children will grow up seeing us as prominent members of WTO Enclave management. How does the church and Mr. Dumier plan to deal with New Cairo? There won't be any Enclave citizens to convert if the Templars get their way. Her Holiness said that I would be most useful in the Medina, comforting our concerned believers. Perhaps there is an operation planned against the Arcology, but I did not inquire. I trust Her Holiness to take appropriate action. Fair enough. Please, don't let me interrupt your work. It is time for Vitaka, applied thinking, taking what we desire and reconciling it. have taken the mosque. People seeking security will there prevail. are trapped. The paladins are indifferent. Uh. The security bot will shoot any non-Templars. If you eliminated the bot, the people could probably escape. Move in! Now! Uh. 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 are indifferent to them, but the security bot will shoot any non-Templars. If you eliminated the bot, the people could probably escape. Ah! Ah! 
Your time on this earth is limited, freak. Uh, Let's uh, put an end to... have taken the mosque. People seeking sanctuary there are now trapped. The paladins are indifferent to them, but the security now will shoot any of the Templars. If you eliminated the bot, the people could probably escape. God, someone from the outside. I'd make a run for the Medina if the floor of the mosque could be secured, but no one will fight. I'm going to run for it! See, they've all vanished.
specific threat. My guess is that it was a botched infusion. Justice, if you ask me. Mother Nature's way of saying don't play with that. Looks like it was more than a standard infusion. This is Paul Denton we're talking about. It appears they designed it as a new breed of nanite, one suitable for the entire human race. Given that it's been two years since they tried to infuse him, I'm guessing the procedure did not go according to plan. The nanites actually began disintegrating him from the inside. They put him in cryostate so they could find a cure. When will they learn? The human organism should not be tampered with. That's why we're here, to learn what we can from this experiment before the conspirators try to infect the rest of humanity. I don't know who or what you... <sighs> You're modified. I can smell it on you.
Pointers like your classmate, Miss Sparks. This was her mission, but she wouldn't follow through. Chief Morgan took her into custody and will handle the transport out of the Arcology. Pay attention, Alex. I'm too sweet talking, you trainees. Do as we say, or your traitorous friend dies. <laughs> I will be victorious! Oh, I've still got some fight in me!
got a dangerous prisoner in custody. I'd move along if I were you.
You arrive. Good. I am here to assist. How'd you get past the Templar defenses? My priorities are survival and infiltration at any cost. Enough talk. I am here to assist. Young enemy, thy name is Pliable. How quickly you kindle a faith in a brother you never knew. Maybe I plan to kill him like the Illuminati want me to. Then your ear bends to the worldly wiseman to continue the archaic analogy. The smallest breeze carries you off nature's straight and narrow path, which is ever eroded by the human lust for transcendence. I love it when you talk dirty. Chairman Dumier lusts for worldly power. J.C. Denton. What's left of him? Lusts for worldly bliss. And to both of them, you are nothing but a finely wrought tool. I suppose you're entitled to your opinion. Why so hostile? I'm not evil. I merely oppose the powers that have shaped and confined you up until now. Just allow my scientist, Dr. Todd, to scan your cell nuclei and leave Paul alone. You're asking me to join the Templars? Yes, young Pliable. Dr. Todd is waiting for you in the flight bay. Do as he asks. As long as you cooperate, my paladins will hold their fire. I will have additional instructions for you when you reach Liberty Island. I'm preparing to meet you in Flight Bay 23, but the pilot beacon seems to be offline. You will need to activate it before I can land. have some unfinished business to take care of. No problem. I'll keep a safe distance for now. When you want to leave, contact me with this beacon. You found the pilot beacon. Activate it and I'll be able to land. aren't my pilot. Do I look like her? I have five pilots and you aren't any of them. This is just perfect. Had any trouble with the Templars? Trouble? Trouble? Not at all, unless you count canceling a major concert, getting trapped in a war zone, and practically starving to death without even a number to call for room service. Maybe I can help get you out of here. Oh, sure. I'll wait for my own people, thanks. I don't want to get myself shot. Dr. Nassif, how are you doing in the middle of all this? I'm doing okay, for now. The Templars are right at our door, but at least they're giving us a breather. I just hope the rescue flight gets here before the next volley starts. It is almost too much to comprehend right now, especially considering how fast the Templars seize control of this city. They've got to be stopped. Their main objective was to capture Paul Denton from Apostle Corps' lab here in the Arcology, which they succeeded in doing. We have intel that he's being held in Flight Bay 24. What do you think they're planning? They will eventually murder him. You can't let all our hard work be destroyed by these lunatics. 
On some instinctual level, you feel a basic kinship. You know there's bond. Please, Alex, save Paul. Oh, is that a biomod canister? Thanks. guard standing right Man, here. You're gonna be in tough break, dude. in the age of light, Denton. I'll take that as a slap in the face. Don't be a fool, Alex. Do you really think that the Dentons will have any use for you once the technology is imposed on humanity? Be a nanite plague worse than the one in Cairo, and you will be responsible. Nice. With one Denton out of the picture, our work will be much easier. My commandos have already secured a beachhead on the south shore of Lisa. We're ready to back you up. Contact your pilots with the Flight Bay 23 Beacon. So glad to have you with us, Alex. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right. I just need one. What's the set? Go to hell. Then we will take your blood by. F Impurity will prevail. about Paul. He and JC want to impose biomodification worldwide, a nanite plague worse than the one in Cairo. Help us keep the technology under control. JC in Antarctica. Tracer Tong is coordinating with him from Germany. You look like one of the test subjects. Alex Denton. JC said I was one of the MJ-12 experiments. Of course. Alex. Sorry. They say the brain freeze snaps off a few dendrites. So it's time. Your biomod architecture. It's universal? That's what reversed my coma? Yes. JC wants you to meet him at Liberty Island. It won't be easy leaving New Cairo, though. The Templars have seized the arcology. Don't worry about me. I didn't just come back from the dead to get killed hours before the big event. Join us at the statue. 
As MJ-12 used us, we've used you. But the commodification of ability is about to end. Well done, Alice. Paul will join me on Liberty Island. I've constructed a machine that will populate the atmosphere with the particles that make up our biomod architecture. I may need your help against a force of Templars that has intervened. More when you arrive. Contact your pilot with the Flight Bay 23 beacon. Don't worry about Paul. I will arrange for his extraction. Go your own way, but don't think I'm going to ignore a threat to the world I brought back from ashes 20 years ago. The collapse was the work of your good brother, J.C. Denton, remember? My commandos will be waiting for you on Liberty Island, and so will I. Now that I've activated what's left of Apostle Corps, what sort of future are you trying to bring about? I've heard JC's version. It probably sounds like a lot of high-minded bullshit to an outsider. My thoughts exactly when JC started speaking in tongues after the merger, but the logic is compelling if you give it time. How so? If you want to even out the social order, you have to change the nature of power itself, right? And what creates power? Wealth? Physical strength? Legislation? Maybe. But none of those is the root principle of power. I'm listening. Ability. Ability is the ideal that drives the modern state. It's a synonym for one's worth, one's social reach, one's election in the biblical sense. And it's the ideal that needs to be changed if people are to begin living as equals. And you think you can equalize human ability with biomods? The commodification of ability, tuition of course, but increasingly genetic treatments, cybernetic protocols, now biomods, has had the side effect of creating a self-perpetuating aristocracy in all advanced societies. When ability becomes a public resource, what will distinguish people will be what they do with it. Intention, dedication, integrity, the qualities we would choose as the bedrock of the social order. By the way, Miss Clara Sparks is now dead. Possible sighting bears some investigation. Explosive has been deployed.
remind you, brother Jake. Come with me. Don't. Well done, Alex. Paul will join me on Liberty Island. I've constructed a machine that will populate the atmosphere with the particles that make up our biomodern condition. I may need your help against the force of Templars that has intervened. More when you arrive. Contact your pilot with the Flight Bay 23 beacon. Don't worry about Paul. I will arrange for his extraction. By the way, Miss Clara Sparks is now dead. Go your own way, but don't think I'm going to ignore a threat to the world I brought back from ashes 20 years ago. The collapse was the work of your good brother, J.C. Denton, remember? My commandos will be waiting for you on Liberty Island, and so will I. Procedure. He needs to upgrade the Helios core by merging it with your systems. With access to a living host, Helios will be able to regulate the planet-wide distribution of the Biomod architecture. So I'm going to be merged with Helios just like JC is? Every person on Earth will be merged to one degree or another. Let's go. You have proven to be a great ally, Alex. JC looks forward to opening a new era in human history with you by his side. Antarctica, you helped our kind. 
JC tells us you are his ally as well. We welcome you. With someone like you, Lady JC, we are both for all. Welcome. It's hard to believe that our hard work is nearly done. Are you sure we can trust JC, even after the merger in Antarctica? Have you looked around? All he's done, I have to wonder about his sanity. This is what we've been working toward ever since I uncovered the truth about UNATCO and MJ-12, even if I didn't realize it at the time. I trust his vision. He intends to give every human being a nanite infusion. That doesn't seem drastic to you? His vision isn't easy to comprehend because he's operating on a higher level now. We just have to trust his wisdom, and soon we'll all share in it. Your enemies have occupied the island. I have no enemies, merely topographies of ignorance. The people drift aimlessly, collecting into clans, wherever they find a glimmer of knowledge. You don't sound worried. You're wasting time. I want you to locate the Aquinas specification inside UNATCO. When Helios has recovered its hub privileges, you'll step into the infusion chamber and the nanites in your body will be replicated in the air and ultimately in the bloodstreams of every last human being. This act, the geography of death. Trust me, misunderstanding. There is not a few more ideologies, or in any form. All are already historical footnotes. I'm going to take a look at Before the collapse, Helios. Alex, I can restore Aquinas myself. 
I just sent my commandos into you, Natco, to make sure you don't transmit the protocol data to the wrong place. off out here. The Omar shut down my Enviro suit remotely. What are we gonna do? They're searching for data that will let them restore the pre-collapse communications grid. Which they will appropriate for themselves, whoever finds it first. That's the impression I get. It doesn't take a genius to see that they all want one thing, to force their system or whatever on the rest of us. The world is doing just fine without a supreme leader. We can't just walk away from this. We can, after we eliminate the leadership of these factions and destroy whatever it is J.C. Denon is building inside the statue. You mean kill everybody on the island? The leaders. The ones dragging the rest of the planet into this mess. The J.C. Denton's utopia machine, whatever it is. I'm ready to back you up. Just give me an assignment. Hang tight for now. Whatever you say. I brought you something from Cairo, by the way. The Biomod canister on the crate over there. It was a payment from the Omar. Personally, I'm, I'm done with biomodification. What's the problem? You scared?
I can't sneak up on me. Forget it, Scab's gone.
needed to avoid another collapse. Transmit the Aquinas specification to the WTO orbiting science platform Ophelia. Most of humanity wants to rebuild, Alex. Ignore them, and what are you fighting for? Not freedom, not democracy. Then what? <laughs> were built before you were born. Would you like some help figuring them out? I can manage. I remember a time when they were operational. They were the backbone of pre-collapse society. And they called it Aquinas. That's about all I need to know. No one knew that name. By the 2050s, communications protocols had become successively more comprehensive and classified until there was only one protocol synonymous with all economic activity, yet managed by a very small group of people. Didn't you get the message when I rescued Paul? If I bring the system up, it won't be for the Templars. I am the only world leader who would use this network against machine evolution. Please, nothing but obsolescence awaits humanity if we go back to microsecond economics, revive Aquinas, and assign hub privileges to our computing center in Munich. I'll think about it. Do this for the Templars, then help us reconfigure JC's contraption to disperse a nanite capsid predator, and we will end the plague of biomodification once and for all.
not playing. Your time on this earth is limited, freak. will speak. Year of our Union, 125. Our consensus remains clear. Yes, we will prolong this second century of peace. Economic automation is complete. Our research will now encompass other frontiers. Yes, this is the consensus we have created. Our unity will soon be absolute. The remaining boundaries are vanishing. Yes, Share your mind with everyone. Open yourself. Your needs are the needs of all. Let us understand and be transformed. Yes, transform each other and transform yourselves. The only frontier that has ever existed is the self. Helios has spoken.